Hello, Verbling.com members. Welcome to another English class brought to you by Verbling.com. Verbling.com is where you can connect and practice with a native speaker instantly. I would like to welcome you all to the class. This hour we are going to be doing some reading and the reading is a little advanced. It is a little difficult to understand, but we're going to work slowly and see if we can understand some of the main points in the uh, script. Now, the information that we're going to be reading today is from a website. I have the link and the original document uh, uploaded to the verbling.com website. Please go to the verbling.com website go to the live classes page and under the information for this class you can find file and I'm pretty sure it's GW31 it's a PDF file if you download that you have the original document from the website and after this class I encourage all of you to go to the story of stuff Dot org website and to watch the video. There is a video about this topic and this hour we are going to be reading and talking about some edited selections from this um, video, from the transcript of this video. Okay, and so hello to everyone, welcome. It's nice to see some people who I haven't seen for a while. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the share screen, and I hope that I have it here, uh, because I'd like to put up uh, an image and some questions for you. And so here we go. Let's see if I can get this working. So we're talking about personal products that are safe to use, so things like perfume and toothpaste and shampoo etc but also uh, I would like to start by asking you about some of these dangerous products and chemicals that people have in their homes and so I have two questions how many dangerous chemicals do the people in your country usually have in their homes and do you feel that the personal care products that you use are safe. Okay, and uh, so I'd like to start with uh, Abdullah. Abdullah, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? Good. Uh, I, uh, I'm Abdullah from Egypt. Uh, I'd like to ask how many dangerous chemicals uh, do the people in my country usually have in their homes? Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, misbranded or uh, adulterated uh, cosmetics. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, danger uh, or have uh, a harmful effect uh, rather than uh, a beneficial effect. So, so which which products or which chemicals? Uh, Misbranded or uh, adulterated cosmetics. Oh, uh, mis mislabeled. Yes, mislabeled. Uh, okay, so they have bought a product that, uh, or they have put a product in a different container. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's very dangerous. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. So the uh, the users uh, don't uh, don't know the. Which is the actual uh, active constituent inside the the container? So, ah, okay. so uh, bad. And uh, the sec uh, the second question: Do do you feel that the best care product that you? Um, actually, I uh, didn't use the 
more uh, care products, but I uh, only use uh, toothpaste and uh, toothpaste and uh, uh, hair gel. No, shampoo oh. and hair gel. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. So you feel uh, that those are safe? Uh, hair gel, I uh, think it's safe, but I use it. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. Thank you. And yes. Christoph, are you there? Yes, I am here. Hi, uh, Hi. Geoff. Nice Hello. to meet you. No, well, uh, uh, we've, we've met before, so nice to see you again. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. But not today. Sorry? I, uh, not today. I didn't ah. meet you today. No, yes, no, no, sorry. So, today. Oh, oh, okay. But uh, to meet yeah. someone uh, is that you can only meet someone once in English. The first time that you meet wow. someone is when you learn their name and you introduce yourself to them. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That, that only happens once. So we have met before, uh, but welcome. <laughs> uh, cool. Thank you, Mr. Teacher. So, uh, uh, let me ask you about the PDF because I didn't find uh, any PDF. Oh, okay. All right. H have other people There's found no it? PDF there. Okay. Uh, sorry. I, uh, know, but I, I, I guess it's too late now, but um, sorry. Please, please go ahead. Thank you for telling me that. Okay. Uh, about chemicals, uh, frankly, I have no idea <laughs> about chemicals products. I have well, no these, idea. No, but these kinds of products that are on the picture. Mm. Do people yes, have a lot see. of these things? Gasoline, paint thinner, paint, uh, poison to kill animals, pests. Okay, well, bon. let me let me uh, talk about uh, paint because uh, in uh, my university they had paint uh, uh, the the wall. All the world university, so it's uh, mm -hmm. smell very bad. Right. I I think uh, they should uh, paint the the wall in the uh, on vacation, not now. <laughs> okay, so right. It's bad. <laughs> so it's bad. exposed to the uh, paint fumes. Paint fumes. Okay. Uh, these are the vapors or smells that come off of paint. As it is drying. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Paint <coughs> fumes. That's what we say. And uh, ah. Sorry. I'm just seeing if the verbling chat box is working. And do you feel that the personal care products that you're using are safe? Uh. uh as I said, frankly, I have no idea. But but I think they 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 are. They are safe, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. uh, they right. smell bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Great. Very bad. <laughs> uh, Eleni, hello. How are you? Hello, Joe. <laughs> I'm a little bit sleepy. <laughs> okay. No problem. <laughs> Welcome. We'll, okay. We'll... Uh, you want us to talk about uh, these products, okay? Uh, yeah. Yes, they can be dangerous, especially if you have uh, small children in the house. So that's oh, yeah. why you must keep uh, keep them away from children. They are poisonous, and uh, I believe that uh, it's not uh, for all of them uh, scientifically proved that they uh, can be safe uh, in their use. You know, because uh, some types of uh, cancer or uh, other, no, no, can't, uh, they can't be uh, causes for cancer if you yes. use them too often. That's why uh, the professional, uh, the professional painters, for example, uh -huh. they, uh, they can be affected by them. Right. People working mm -hmm. with these products every day. Right. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I just, if I can ask everyone to please keep their microphones muted. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, right, and also your personal care products. Do you yes. think that those are safe? 
Uh, I am not sure, really, because uh, I know that uh, some products, uh, some uh, uh, care products are tested on animals, and mm -hmm. this is uh, the only way to prove uh, that they are safe. Uh, I prefer natural uh, products. Mm -hmm. Good. For okay. my skin. <laughs> yes, all right, great, thank you. Uh, yes. I think that's a good choice. Excellent. <laughs> and so uh, I'm going to move on to Imad. Hello, welcome. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jeff. I'm, I'm Imad. I'm from Syria. And uh, about this topic, I think in everyday, uh, in everyday life, I may use some material that was some kind of toxic for my health. And okay. I discovered lately that my own shampoo contains some material that was some, somehow uh, allergic, it was allergic to it. So it caused my allergency to appear as I, I have suffered, uh, suffered from uh, hair falling and a lot of problems with my skull. Uh, oh, uh, wow. Yeah. That's too bad. It so was, you have had an allergic reaction to one of yeah, the products? Yeah, I have allergic uh, Yeah. Uh, I, I discovered accidentally when I read ingredients of the shampoo, which is a very yes. known brand. It's good for some people, but for me, it wasn't too good, and it's kind of poisoning for my uh, skin. So okay. I, I recommend everyone to take care about this material. All right. No, great. Thank you for sharing that story with us. So, yeah, great. Be, be careful. All right. And I, I just want to go back. Uh, we're just uh, My screen is a little funny here. Uh, so, uh, David, are you there? Yes, of course, I'm here. Yes. Hi, David. All right, so, yes, how many dangerous chemical do the people have? Yes, uh, kind of bottles and paints and cosmetics. I come from Spain and I know many, many products, but thanks God that I haven't had any allergic reactions. I, okay. I don't know any, anyone, but... I know it happens. It happens. That, that has had a, a serious reaction. Right? No, no, no. Yeah. Well, I, and uh, for the discussion today, I want to make a clear uh, separation between the obviously dangerous chemicals that people have in their homes, and as Eleni said, you know, you need to keep these out of reach of children, etc. But uh, and but. Your personal care products, do you feel that they are safe to use? And are there good laws to protect consumers, you feel, in, in Spain? Uh, yes, yes, I, I think there is a lot of rules that products have to, I don't know how to say it, uh, the products have has to be tested and, and you cannot, yep. yeah, you cannot sell products in in bad state. Okay, no, no. So products need to be tested. Yeah, yes. that's yes, that's, of course. That's the language that we use. Okay, great. Thank you. And I'm going to move on to uh, Ferru. Ferru, are you there? Hello, Ferru. Uh, Kurul Glue. Kurul Glue. Okay, we, we don't hear from you. Uh, Johnny, are you there? Yes, I, I'm here. Yes, hello, welcome. Thank uh, you. Please introduce okay. yourself. Okay, my name is Johnny. I am from Colombia. And now I'm talking about chemical products. Right, right. Chemi chemical products. Now, chemical but products. The, the, the two questions, and, and they're two separate questions, so do people have obviously toxic chemicals in their homes? And then the other question is, do you feel the personal care products that you and your family use are safe? Well, I, I believe that uh, companies, pharmaceutical companies, Yes. discovered. Yes, that's correct. I mean, Pharmaceutical sometime, companies. Sometimes they don't care our health. You know, they think only in cells. Okay. You know? And for the reason I think 
uh, in some time, in sometimes they they lie about the real cons the real consequence uh, for using uh, her his product, their product, you know. Yeah. Okay. No. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And just uh, if everyone could please mute their microphones. Uh, and then, uh, Mohammed, are you there? Hi. Yes, Mohammed. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Mohammed. I'm from Syria. And uh, the, do you see the questions on the screen? Uh, yeah, I saw them. Yeah, please go ahead and, and uh, share with us your ideas about those two questions. Uh, there, uh, there's a, a chemical. Hello, Mohammed. Okay, so uh, can can people hear me? All right. <laughs> yeah, you, you both. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 All right, thank you. Yes, yes. We're definitely having some some problems. So uh, now, after the introductory questions. Uh, oh, I'd like to say hello to uh, Bolsi. Are you there? Bolsi Cattle? Yeah. Yes, hello. Uh, your volume is very low. Uh, if you can speak loudly for us, please. Okay. Mm. Is it yeah, uh, please go ahead. I work a lawyer and uh, I'm from Egypt. Okay, uh, I, I'm sorry, we really, we really cannot hear you. Uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, see if you can improve your internet connection. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, sorry. No, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to mute your microphone. See if you can improve your internet connection. Okay, and then uh, we have uh, Hesham. Hello. Hesham Hassan. Okay, and I don't know how to pronounce uh, the person's name at the end. You have your video on? Muhammad, Muhammad Mabkhul. Uh, and sorry, who is speaking? Oh, uh, no, uh, I tried uh, to. Abdullah. Ah, okay. See, Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad, you have your video on. Okay. So, uh, what what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to move on. Let's bring up the uh, the document, and uh, this is going to be challenging for us to read. <laughs> so uh, let's let's go ahead. Now the, the name of the video is The Story of Cosmetics and the host, the writer, is a woman. Uh, her name is Annie Leonard and here is the website www.thestoryofstuff.org Okay, and this again is the script of the video, and so you are reading her words. Okay, and so uh, Abdullah, could you please go ahead with reading this paragraph? Yes, uh, by any Leonard. Uh, can I tell you I love my uh, Bent uh, Bentin Brovi? Yeah. Benti Brovi of the dozen or uh, so uh, personal care products I use every day. It's uh, the one I can't uh, live without. It, uh, yeah. Do you see the screen? Uh, oh. uh, uh, it's, uh, it says it, it gives my uh, dull hair. Uh, the ultimate cool uh, shine. Uh, how does it do? Uh, it do that. I was wondering that while I was lasering it into my hair one day. So I read the 
ingredients is right here. Sodium. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and we have many different uh, ingredients on the list yeah. of ingredients. Okay. Sodium, the, the list and of she's, faith. Yeah, and, and at the end she everything. says, what is this stuff? Okay. So she yeah. is the host of the video, and she loves using a shampoo called Pantene Pro-V. That's what we say. Yeah. All right, and she looked at the list of ingredients, and she thought to herself, what are these ingredients? So here is yeah. the product that she's talking about. Yes. And, and uh, then uh, what I'm going to do is just move down. I, I've got a, a, an image of the list of ingredients that you see on many of these personal care products. This may not be the exact same product, but it's made by the same company. And you can see so many of these chemical names that are part of the personal care products that many of us use. And uh, can, can people read some of the names on, those, uh, on the list? You, you can see the letters. Xenon Yeah. <laughs> Sodium <laughs> benzoate is one. And, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, citric acid, uh, that, that's not um, dangerous, I don't think, but that's vitamin C. And, of course, the number yeah. one ingredient, water. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so she wanted to investigate what these uh, ingredients were. All right. So, let's go on to the next piece of information. And again, the original document, she backs up her statements with uh, information. Okay, she supports her statements with information. So, uh, Christoph, could you please read this paragraph for okay. us? Okay. Okay. I took this list uh, to some scientists who know how to read it. Turns out my pantone pen contains a chemical linked to cancer. Please, please go ahead. <laughs> and, uh, and lots of other products in my uh, bathroom from sunscreen to, list, uh, to lipstick and uh, even baby shampoo also contain uh, chemicals linked to cancer or other problems like learning disab disabilities as asthma asthma and, uh, mm -hmm. asthma and uh, even the damaged sperm okay so and and so uh, I'm just dealing with sort of somebody joining the class and I don't think they want to participate. So, uh, uh, so she took the list of ingredients of the product to some scientists, and she found out that some of the chemicals used to manufacture and some of the contaminants in the product were linked to many health problems. Okay, so let's move on. And again, this is from, we have some new people joining us. And so we are reading the script from a short video, a 20-minute video from the Story of Stuff website. All right. And David, please go ahead. David, are you there? Okay, we, we don't hear you, David. Sorry. And so, Ahmad, could you please yeah. go ahead? Okay, like most paintings, I try to keep my family safe, but not. Uh, but now I found out my bathroom is uh, many filled of toxins. Uh, of toxins. What are we supposed to do if at the factory, at the factory, uh, you pour toxic chemical into uh, into a product like a baby shampoo? You are going to wind up with a toxic baby shampoo and toxic uh, and toxins in workers uh, communities 
and dog uh -huh. <laughs> and babies. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it uh, is, kind is... of? Uh... Sorry. Okay. It yeah, this is the same thing. I was talking about. By the way, I talk about pantene shampoo, but I didn't oh. mention the name. Oh, really? Uh, oh, okay. I was allergic to its con uh, con uh, con ingredient. Right. Okay. So uh, now, now she's saying that she is a parent and she likes to keep her family safe, but now she finds out that many of the personal care products are toxic. And, and so what she's saying is that it's crazy that factories who produce these products are using dangerous chemicals to, to, to produce the products like baby shampoo, for example. And if you use dangerous chemicals in your products, the workers in your factory, the people in the communities, and the people <laughs> are going to end up with these toxins in their systems. You know, especially people who work in the factories. We have a sign here. Could you read that, please, for us? Uh, me? Yes. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Use fewer toxic uh, household products. Save your life. Uh, kidneys, skin, lung, and oh, okay. <laughs> Liver, kidney, skin, lungs, and uh, nervous. Nerves. <clears throat> nerves. All right. Great. So thank you. All right. So let's move on. And uh, Johnny, uh, are you ready? Johnny, are you there? Okay, we, we don't hear you, Johnny. I'd like to say hello to uh, Kenny. Kenny. Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome. Uh, where where are you Where are you calling from? From Costa Rica. Okay, great. Welcome. Thank and. You. Uh, could you read this next paragraph that begins with the average woman? Yeah, of course. The average woman in the US, USA uses about 12 personal care products daily. The average means about six. Each product contains a dozen or more chemicals, less than 20% of all chemi chemicals in cosmetics have been accessed for safety by the industry safety panel so we just don't know what they do to us when we use them will you fly on on an airline that only inspects 20% of its planes. <laughs> okay. No, no, great job. I, I just wanted to help you. Just uh, quickly, we do say the U.S. U.S. The U.S. That's very common. So that's a good phrase. That's a good uh, uh, word to practice. And okay. chem, chemicals, the C-H is pronounced as a K, chemicals. Uh, chemicals. All right, and then the information <clears throat> in this paragraph means that an average woman in the U.S. uses 12 different products every day. Mm -hmm. The average man uses approximately six different products. And each product contains a dozen or more chemicals. So if you take 12 personal care products times 12 chemicals, that's 144 different chemicals every day, or, or possibly. Okay, and they're saying that in the United States, less than 20% of the chemicals in cosmetics have been assessed they have been tested for safety. Only 20%. And so 80% of the chemicals have not been tested. And so you have a mixture of many different chemicals that people are using every day 
they're putting them directly onto their bodies and only 20% of them have been tested. So, wow. All right, I'd like to move on. Uh, Mohammed, hello, are you there? Mohammed, Mamdong? I'm sorry, we don't hear you. And so I'm going to go back to Abdullah. Abdullah, are you there? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, good. Okay. And so uh, I'd, I'd like you to read this next paragraph, please. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, not all of these uh, chemicals are dangerous, but we know that uh, many are. So uh, some are carcinogens, that means they can cause cancer. Others are uh, neurotoxins and repro reproductive toxins proven to mess up brain development and reproduction in animals. Wait a minute, we are animals too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Her funny phrase. And to mess up something means to interfere with it or have a negative impact on something. Yeah. To, to ruin something, to have a negative impact, to mess up. All right, yeah. so some of these other chemicals we know are dangerous. All right, and so uh, let's go on to the next person. And I'd, I'd like to welcome, uh, sorry, I'm looking for your name. Uh, Angie, hello Angie. Uh, you need to turn on your microphone. Just all of the new students, you need to be able to click on the icon of the microphone on the Google Hangout screen. Angie, are you there? Angie, hello? Okay, and uh, I'm so uh, you need to click on the microphone. Uh, Atakan? Atakan? Atajan. Atajan? I'm sorry. I, I do remember the pronunciation. Now just let me uh, see if I can get my uh, file working. Uh, sorry. I'm okay. going to click on the, the, the screen share has disappeared from my sure. screen. <laughs> So let's see what we can do here. All right. So we're, uh, we're definitely having some technical problems. Uh, Mr. Jo uh, Mr. Jo yes. you yes. If you when you press for view more apps, doesn't uh, doesn't this appear? Uh, because then sometimes they hi hide it on the view more apps. My microphone was muted. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see if that works. The screen share, and now well, I've got a black document. <laughs> All right. So what we need to do is, I, I'm going to try and uh, close the um, file and restart it again. So the the topic is the personal care products that people use. And so maybe if I could ask everyone to please tell us the list of the personal care products that you use. And just if everyone please could keep their microphones muted. It's very important to eliminate that noise. And so uh, Angie, are you there? Okay, so that's not, and uh, Atashan, are you there? Yes, yeah, I'm here. Could, could you please uh, tell us some of the products that you use and that the people in your family use? And do you feel that those are safe? I think, uh, like what? Excuse me, I yeah. couldn't understand. Oh. No, I'm sorry. Uh, all of the personal care products that you use. So this is shampoo and deodorant. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. Shampoo, deodorant we, we can use 
Eru var diyorsun. Yes. And do you uh, so tell us uh, uh, how many different products do you use? How many different? Uh, so you, you maybe use shampoo. Seven. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Shampoo, deodorant, yodatilet, krem, lipstick. Uh, oh, okay, right. And uh, and then, do you you feel that these products are safe? Uh, all, not all of them. Oh, okay. And and so uh, all right, good. And where where are you from? Turkey. Okay. And just if people can please keep their microphones turned off. All right, thank you very much. Uh, uh, and then let me see if I can go to uh, Kenny. Are you there? Kenji. Salas, yeah. are you there? Yeah. 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 Could you please tell us the personal care products that you and your friends and family use on a daily basis? Um, shampoo. Mm. Shampoo. Um, yeah, cream of face. Uh, I don't know yeah. what to say. Face cream. Yeah. Or skin cream. Makeup. <laughs> no. Uh, do you, do you wear makeup? A little bit makeup, not not much. Okay. I don't like it too much, but yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And do you feel that those products are safe? Um, uh, I think yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, <laughs> now, are some of these products made in Costa Rica? Or yeah. are they usually imported? Usually important, but the all makeup I, I do I have is in is made in Costa Rica. Okay, great, yeah. thank you. And uh, I just wanted to see uh, Mohammed. Are you there, Mohammed? Hello. Okay, so Hello. I. Yes, hello, please introduce hello. yourself. My name is Muhammad Mokhlut from Yemen. Great, welcome. And we are talking about personal care products. What what kinds I, of products do you use every day? Uh, kind of uh, products use every day in uh, our uh, I'm new. Excuse me, I'm new. I don't understand what you talk about. Okay. Uh, but I will uh, listen to you and okay. Okay. understand you. All right. No, good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now let's see Thank if you. we can continue. Um, uh, Angie, do you have your microphone working? Okay. No, uh, we don't hear you, Angie. Right, and my screen share has gone blank. So let's see if I can get this working again. It worked. Huh? Oh, it was working? <coughs> okay. It was working. Mine, mine just went black, and, it, and, it's, and it's showing as black here. And so... <laughs> uh, it was black for me. I sounded... Black. Yeah, that's it right. All right, now, so we need to work together on this. Help me. <laughs> where, where do we go from here? Uh, so, uh, let me see. Uh, another, another question. Uh, do, do you know anyone, uh, and, and I'm going to uh, start with uh, Christoph. Do you know anyone, a man or a woman, who uses lots and lots of personal care products and spends a fortune on these types of things. Yes, uh, indeed. I, I know a lot of people. I know uh, I have two friends uh, uh, that they, they care about themselves a lot. 
Okay. They exaggerate uh, on that, and they spent a lot of money on that. Uh, and so uh, yeah. And but uh, they they still uh, they still uh, without problem uh, till now. I I'm sorry. Uh, Your final comment. Yeah. I I said they still uh, fine right uh, till now. They have no problem. Yeah, they have had no problems. Okay, great. Yeah. And so how much money do they spend on some of these products? Oh, a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe uh, per month I can I can say about uh, only product about uh, 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 three or four hundred. Oh. Uh, on Zero. on one product. Uh, no, a lot of oh. product. Oh, okay. So every month. Every month, yeah. Okay, three or four hundred dollars a month. <laughs> okay. Euro. Great, thank you. Yeah. Uh, and I'll go on to David. Are you there, David? Yes, of course. I'm here. Excellent. Uh, Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. And just if everyone else could please keep their microphones muted. So, uh, do you know someone who uses a lot of expensive uh, personal care products? Personal care, uh, well, I know some woman, old woman, yes, definitely yes. Uh, they spend more or less, not as much as three or four hundreds, but maybe two hundreds, two hundreds, one hundred, two hundreds. Right, and have you to them about the products that they use? Uh, no, no, because I don't, I don't trust on them. I, I don't think they are doing their work uh, perfectly. Uh, oh, okay, and and so great. And so, what's the most expensive personal product that you buy? Uh, uh, colon uh, perfume. A perfume, okay. uh, 50, 50 euros. Okay. And uh, so uh, you you feel that this is uh, uh, money well spent? No, not not really. Well, 50, 50 dollars is not as much as two hundreds, and I think okay. it is worth. Yeah, yeah. So why not? What? What's the uh, what's the cologne that you that you buy? Uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, Calvin Klein, uh, the one. Oh, okay. Calvin yeah, but, Klein. Uh, yes, but that's not the personal product. The product to care. I don't know. Well, if okay. No, no, but that's. That would be uh, well one of the products that you put on your body every day. That, okay. I guess that's the uh, that's the idea behind the the word. All right, okay. thank you. And uh, Ahmad, do you uh, yeah. know do you know someone who uses a lot of personal care products? Yeah, my ex work, uh, previous work, I, I had that girl who is working as a secretary. She put a lot of makeup on her face. I think she spent her, her own uh, salary on the makeup. Uh, without caring about. Salary? Yeah, I think the whole salary was <laughs> spent at the end of the. I don't know if she saved anything from it. But the real question is uh, she, she got the dark skin. Okay. And she, to cover this skin with a lot of material and creams. Uh, 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 that make her skin or her face like white, like white skin. Oh, okay. But if you look at her face, it will be like clone or something weird. <laughs> she liked. Okay. Like, By the uh, way, yeah. Mr. I, so she uh, was she trying to use a, a lot of makeup to make her skin look uh, lighter. Yeah, more lighter. Yeah. Yeah. But she didn't make it that well way. Her her hair, her everything. She she paint everything that way. Okay. So in in your opinion, she just used too much makeup. 
All right. Yeah. Now uh, I'm going to see if I can start the screen share again. And yeah, so uh, we're, we're talking about the different products. And so, uh, Johnny, could you read this text for us, please? Sure. Okay. It's like a hair experiment. Giant. We're using. Yeah, okay. It's like a giant experiment. We're using all these mysterious chemicals and just waiting to see what happens. One thing we do know is that they are getting inside us. I had my body's toxicity levels tested. And I'm loaded with, with things like mercury, flame, retardants, triclosan, and lead. Now, I know we can live in a lead-free world, but do they have to put lead in our lift tips? Okay, great, thank you. And so uh, she had her body tested for toxins, and they found quite a few of these toxic uh, chemicals. All right, and so I'd like to go on to uh, Kenji. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, where are we here? Ah, maybe she just bought the wrong products. <laughs> That's why her body has these toxics, uh, toxic chemicals in them. All right. Uh, Kenji, could you read this paragraph for us, please? Yeah. At the stores, the choices seem endless. I can get lipstick in... Forty nights shades. Uh, wait, I, I didn't see anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or shampoo for hair. Uh, oh my god. That's too dry. Oil, oily. I don't know. I didn't see anything. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to move on uh, to uh, Mohammed. Do you see the text on the screen? Yes. Yeah. I, yes, could, could you please yeah. read it? Yeah. Or, or would you like to just listen? W would you like to yeah. read the text? Yes, I will read. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. At the store, the show is clean and I can live in 49 shape or shampoo for hair that's too dry, oily, fine, mild, or crazy. But what about the choice that really matter? Like the choice to buy products that are safe. It turns out the important question just happens when I show it to take a product off the share. Okay, thank you. Happen? No, I, I'm going to stop you there, but thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How about yeah. And, and so, uh, uh, so she's talking about the incredible variety of products, but where do you find products that are safe to use? And just if I can ask everyone to please keep their microphones muted. All right, great. And um, Abdullah, could you please read this next paragraph for us? Yes. <clears throat> uh, they have been uh, when uh, companies and the government governments uh, decide what should be uh, bought on the shelves. Uh, so who are these uh, companies? Uh, this is uh, Pro uh, Proctor and the Gamble. And Gamble. And the Ga they are uh, the ones offering uh, herbal uh, essences. The number uh, two shampoo in the country. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mohammed, you need to keep your microphone muted, please. Uh, yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank, thank you. All right, let me move it down. I've got some pictures of the Procter & Gamble pro uh, product. It's shampoo, and it's called Herbal Essence. Herbal Essences. This is it here. Very, very famous brand of shampoo. All right. And so uh, 
what I'd like to do is to ask uh, Atajan, could you please read this information? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. It contains toxic petrochemicals made from oil on cosmetics labels, words like herbal, nature, natural, even organic have no legal definition. That means anybody can put anything in a bottle and call it natural, and they do. Okay, and so the idea of that information, Atajan, do you understand what she's saying? In, 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 at least in the United States? Uh, oil is... Uh, oil can be dangerous. Okay, excellent, right? And, you know, this product has uh, components that are produced from oil, petroleum, <laughs> and uh, what about when you see a product that says it's natural, organic, or herbal? Yeah, uh, Angie will be there in a minute. <laughs> Atajan, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm here. So what is, what is the point with the uh, terms natural, herbal, and organic? With this name, uh, they present like safe thing. Uh, sorry, uh, could you repeat that, please? Uh, this product present like safe thing. With yes. This uh, good. They, they pretend to be safe. They appear yeah. to be safe and natural. Right. Yeah. Yes. And I'd like to say hello to Angie. Angie, are you there? Okay. Hello? No. Can you hear me? Yes, but your volume is very low. Hello. Where are you calling from? Hello. Uh, I am from Argentina. Ah, good. I'm studying English teaching. I will tell you. Okay. Now, Angie, uh, we, we, it, it's very hard for us to hear you. See if you can improve the connection of your microphone, and you may want to turn off your video. That may improve your internet connection. Now? Yes. Uh, but uh, can do you see the text on the screen? Yes. Could you please read it for us? <laughs> so really, I took the choice between meaningless claims on the back. Why do you make your subject? Are they trying to poison us? No. We are just working from 1950s, means that when people were totally sucked up in better living through chemistry. In all the excitement, they forgot to worry about human health impact. Okay, good, thank you. And please try to increase the volume of your microphone. Right. And so uh, her, her, the idea of this section here is that the claims to be natural, organic, and herbal are meaningless. People can put whatever chemicals they want in a bottle and label it as being natural, and that's perfectly legal in the United States. And just that these companies are not evil, they're not trying to poison people, but they just feel as though they are going to use chemicals to produce their products and not worry about the human health impacts. All right, so uh, Christoph? Could, could you read this next paragraph, please? Okay. That was years ago, and they are still using these same old toxic chemicals. Today, big com uh, cosmetics companies say the doses of poison in their products are small enough to be harmless. Okay. And uh, could I get you to just um, read this next section, please? Okay, I guess they never see uh, how their products are being used and uh, combined, combined, combined with other products every day. A little toxic toes under your arms, 
a little more on your hair, on your lips, and workers in nail and hair salon. salons, salons, get dosed all day long. Okay, and so they continue. Uh, no, thank you. I'll I'll move on. And now, what what I'd like to do? We have just a few minutes left, and so I wanted to show. At, at this point, uh, I will give you the uh, video to check out at thestoryofstuff.com. Let me quickly go to the top here. I just want to show this to everybody uh, one more time. And so the video is called The Story of Cosmetics with Annie Leonard. And here is the uh, website, thestoryofstuff.org. And you can uh, sure. see the twenty-minute video. Yes. Oh, uh, you please give us also the the, the link of the of the the document. Yeah. Now I I thought that was on the verbling dot com, uh, but you'll be able to uh, have the link to the document at the website. So if, if you go to the story of stuff website, you'll you'll be able to find everything. All right. Okay. And and so uh, then. What I'd like to do is to show the product, and I, I know I'm scrolling through here quickly. Sorry, uh, where are we here? Ah, uh, here it is: the Herbal Essence Shampoo. This is a very, very popular product in the United States, and so I wanted to show you a an article. Uh, that I found on the internet that and and so let's let's see if we can take a look at this and so uh, David could you read this for us please David yes yes yeah, yes great. of course okay and uh, Procter, Procter and Gumbel to reduce toxic chemical in herbal essence shampoo health advocates applaud announcements but urge companies to do more to ensure safe products. Okay, this is a, an article um, from the internet. This is from California. Uh, now let me see. Uh, okay, could you read this paragraph for us, please, David? Okay. San. Okay, here it is. San Francisco. San Francisco. Protector. Pro Procter and Gamble. P H P and G. Mm -hmm. PNG, NYSC, and two points. I don't know how yeah. to read no, it. Uh, sorry, it, yeah, it's just this is the official name of the company on the New York Stock Exchange. But okay. uh, Procter and Gamble will uh, will reformulate eighteen shampoos in its herbal essence line to reduce levels of cancer, causing chemicals one one for Diotsan, according to a preliminary agreement bridge between P&G and David Steinman, founder of the Green Patriot Working Group and author of Diet for a Poisoned, Poisoned Planet. Poisoned. Poisoned Planet. Okay. Okay. And so the company has agreed to change the formulation of their products. Uh, uh, Emad, are you there? Uh, and <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm here. Yes. Should Go I ahead, read? please. Yeah. Uh, the uh, I'm going to move down to the next paragraph here. Okay. Product tests conducted by uh, Steinman, Steinman, with, Steinman. Uh, Steinman uh, revealed that an herbal essence shampoo contained one for uh, uh, dioxine level of 24 parts per million ppm. Good. P&G agree to pre-formula to pre-formulate after uh, Stenman uh, filled a notice of uh, intent to sure in California under uh, uh, Proposition 65 the state's landmark tox uh, toxics law uh, prior uh, legal action filled by the California attorney, attorney general attorney agent, general. other attorney general agent, other uh, other companies 
uh, indicated indicate that the ac the actionable level under uh, prop 65 proposition, mm -hmm. proposition 65 for one for uh, the uh, dioxin dioxin uh, and personal care product is above 10 uh, ppm. Good, 10 parts per million. And yeah. the shampoo was shown to have 24 parts per million of this contaminant, this cancer-causing contaminant. All right. And so, uh, really, that lesson did not go uh, according to plan. So thank you very much for your patience. I really recommend that you go to the Story of Stuff uh, website and to take a look at their materials. They have the audio and the video and the transcript there for you. And so uh, thank you so much. Uh, I hope that you found uh, the, the session uh, it, useful for you. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. So take Thank care, you everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Uh, see you soon. All right. And and hello to the new students. Welcome to Verbling.com. Thank you. Yeah.